Good evening out there in 2K land, man. So it all started with a tweet from my boy, yo boy, everybody boy, Solo, Solo uh, YT on YT, but Solo DF in your heart. Anyway, he says, uh, Ronnie 2K confirmed in an interview with Rich Eisen that 7-4 Bills will be in NBA 2K24. A lot of people have been speculating about that because we know they did draft with Minyama. They're going to have to make somebody be 7-4 because that's the only way he's going to be in the game. Now, we do know that we have the ability to make bigger players than we can make in my career, but this is one of those things that got the community in a frenzy because, uh, you know, people want to know. But anyway, we're going to talk about all that in one second, man. But before we get started, make sure y'all like the video and comment your thoughts down below. Y'all already know where we're trying to go with this thing. To the moon! hey and like i said man some people be you know they be wondering they be wondering this wondering that listen i i'm just going right with, with, with what ronnie said ronnie says man that interview interview was before nba 2k 23 launch so he just came straight out there and dispelled that and, hey so right now he said hopefully hey when i purposefully spread misinformation over the internet all this stuff like that but how you get dunked on by jeffrey though no, dang what well, it is what it is man but hey we're gonna talk about all that because the whole community just ran wild with it man i mean when i'm telling you they ran wild they grabbed some and just run wild with it hey he just say hey hmm seven seven four bills in the city now and hey it looks it's like it like look old mike say hey old mike and we like i said we got other stuff to talk about man but we, old mike says look looks like we're getting seven four wimby bills in my career per ronnie 2k ronnie when asked <laughs> when asked how uh how the developers balance wimby on wimby i'm a skill set uh to be suited for nba 2k24 and then, you know, like I said, I don't know, man. Take it all with a grain of salt. It could be current. It could be not. Who who knows? I ain't, I, I don't, I really don't care because you're not going to be able to do much, man. But hey, like he says, you couldn't even build him in my player up until this point. And then, you know, this is what they talking about, Jay Bridge for his uncle. Demi. This is the stuff that they're talking about. They're just saying that, hey, he's the ultimate video game player, uh, video game player. You couldn't even build him in my career up until this point. He's a 7'4 guy who has dribble packages that he does. Um, it's going to be interesting. I think that this year is going. It, it, it will maybe be. Uh, it may. It will maybe okay because we're we're all waiting to see how incredible uh, he's going to be at that size or whatever, man. And then, like I said, man, you know, like I said, bro, it be killing me because we go with all this stuff right here, man, and we'll get on to something and we'll latch on to something like that, and we're gonna push it all out there and we're gonna do all of that stuff, but. I don't know if we if, if this is I don't know if y'all read the read the Miss Bourne stuff and this is what this is just the, the the top soothers in the game or whatever's going on, man. And it really feels like they're trying to detract or take away from the important issue. And y'all already know what the important issue is, man. The important issue at hand that we cannot lose sight of. I know that everybody got militant for one day. Everybody was like, yo, we're gonna do this, we're gonna do that, we know we got listen the season pass and vc i understand that a lot of people always want to hit us with the ah, ah, y'all really the problem if y'all spending that much money and then you know if you're gonna spend the money then why complain about it? shut the fuck up shut the fuck up you can have a grievance with something but go along with it for the time being because there's not a much better option let me give y'all a quick anecdote or what have you right quick well back back when i, I think i was like 21 22 you know I, I had a job and uh, we built, I, I, I was working, we built uh, ATMs. So I'm building ATMs, we're working in a factory. The factory, you know, a lot, a lot of factories or a lot of warehouses, they, they may not have, they may not have um, air conditioning and stuff like that. But this is one where you're building computer parts and you have computer components, you have to have AC. So they had AC. We got the AC the whole time, right? So all of a sudden the AC broke. So y'all already know how to be in those warehouses when it, when it break for a couple of days. It's a miserable experience. But with ours, it broke for like a week or something. These guys get the great idea when it when the uh when the when the AC came back. Once they fixed it, they just didn't turn it back on. There's like yo, we saving like fifteen to seventeen hundred a month or something like that by uh by keeping the air conditioner off or whatever. So we just gonna keep it off or whatever. We are gonna keep it at this temperature. We're in the fry. And, and I mean, just dying, everybody going along with it, whatever, whatever. You don't have a better, you know what I did? Hey, everybody went along with it except for me. I, I went, I went, hey, bro, it, it's hot in here, bro. It, it's hard to do the job. Ain't nobody, okay, cool. You know what I did? I, I, I wrote a letter to court. 
and let them know what was going on. I said, I wanted them boys over there at Corp know what's going on with this thing right here, man. And uh, I wrote that letter to Corp, and uh, yeah, they needed to say in a couple of weeks, the air conditioner was back on permanently at the at the uh, proper temperature. This this was at the time, you know, and then Corp was over there in China or something like that, so I had to wait, you know, for that to come back. Now, needless to say, I got my ass fired, and I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna lie about y'all. I mean, they, they got me up out of there, and and you know they said something like, "Oh, yeah, look, I've been late for three years, bro. Now all of a sudden it's a problem. It's a problem right now that that I've been late for three years." But yeah, y'all <laughs> the idea. Y'all understand what I'm trying to say, though. You can have a grievance, but I definitely went along with it. I showed up for work every day, did every, did my job to the best of my ability, but. They had to get that air conditioner back on. So you go along with something, but you can still express your grievance. That's the same thing we're trying to do with this with this thing with 2K. Yeah, people gonna buy the uh, they're gonna buy the battle pass, they're gonna play it, we're gonna buy VC, we're gonna do all of that stuff, but that doesn't mean I can't have a problem with it just because I mean there's just no better option right now. And so that's what I'm trying to tell y'all. Get out there. When we get out there, man, there's certain things that we can do. There's challenges that we can follow. You, you got to do like what Swante said. You can't, this is not something that's going to be able to be handled behind closed doors. We're going to have to handle this in a public forum and, and just make, I mean, I don't know if we're going to have to, like one thing we could do, you're gonna, we're going to have to mobilize, get together. Even if you're going to buy the VC, man, you can go over there to Metacritic and leave a review according to what you believe they deserve and 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 just hey and if you think it's if it's if you think they deserve a good review give them a good review if you think that they don't need a good review and 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 you're talking about because the the predatory vc practices because a lot of people say yo like there's two sides of the coin right now a lot of people saying well you know 2k they eh, eh, 2k is a company and you know they're gonna and that is true but while that is true two things can be true 2k is a company they are going to do whatever they can to make a dollar but that doesn't mean that these practices aren't borderline predatory or evil that doesn't mean that but they are going to do whatever they can do and they have to do what they can what they can do and they have to see how far they're able to push us if they can see how far they can push us that's kind of like their job that's what every human on the planet is going to do i'm gonna see how far i can i'm gonna see what i can get away with and then uh, once I see what I can get away with, you know, I'm going to reel it in and figure it out. But they've seen what they can get away with. But we've so it's been no stop in sight. They've, they've not seen any resistance from us. All we do is keep on. They keep raising the price. We keep on spending. So they're going to see what the break point is. If we don't show them what the break point is, or at least it, it, it show them that we kind of fed up with it, they are going to continue to do what they're doing. And just like we say, you're playing the game in a deficit. You already got to play a play with play. You can't even go and play through my career because you got to do you got to do a, a, a quest walking around with a f***ing glizzy on your head for, 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 for 15 park games and stuff like that. It's like you can't just play your next my career game. You can't progress the story. We just want to play games on games on games. I don't want to have to do this. I don't want to have to do that. Just want to play games and try to build, uh, build your VC up. You can't even do that. You can't even choose. Just think about it like this. Just say, if you win boost, but you grind in my career, you can't even choose where you want to use your boost. They, they don't even let us choose that. So, so with this thing, and then you need the boost. And they know that they, they, they fix the game, so they know that you need the boost. But at the same time, you can't even choose where you use said boost. That is insane. You can't choose, hey, this is my career game. I don't want to use no boost. You got, you got, you got, guess what? You got unlimited boost. So you got uh, 99 boost. You're using them in my career. And guess what? You can't even really go to the park and play without it. So, and then like a lot of people was talking about, well, are they talking about, hey, you're getting 45,000 V, bro, you're not going to have that 45,000 VC at once. You're probably going to get like, like what, 1.1 VC per level or something like that. They're probably going to give it, they're going to give it to you so sparse that it's not like you're going to have it. You're never going to have it at one time. You're going to burn it up along the way. It's not a good deal. It's not, it's just like the boost. You're never going to have it at one time. You can't really choose when you want to use it. And listen, there's nothing good about them making us pay for this stuff okay ain't nothing good about it but we can get on twitter and talk about something that may or may or not be true but something that's actually important we don't want to talk about that man listen i i would tell y'all to go mobilize and make sure you know we got to make them feel it and this this and that but bro i can't even get people to hit the like button so hey it is what it is but i'm telling y'all this you can have a grievance with something and go along with it for a little bit but still be striving to make change that's what we're trying to do here man I, I can't really tell y'all what to do. I can't tell y'all this though, that I am about to go watch this uh, Tassino versus EJ. It's probably on right now. We probably gonna stream it and talk about it and stuff like that, man. So y'all do that. But listen, 
I'm telling y'all, don't let them win this this round right here, bro. Listen, if they win this round, and let's say let's say they win this round, and there's nothing behind the season pass that's that that's kind of pay to win. The next time, I guarantee 2K25 there will be something behind it pay to win. It is gonna be man, but hey, that's all I got for y'all, man. I just want to let y'all show show, show y'all this this how the community is. We are gonna jump on something like that to turn the page immediately. We ain't turning the page over here, man. I'm gonna talk about it. We gonna we gonna we, hey. It can't be allowed to happen. We got to do what we got to do with this. But I mean, even if you spend the money, that's cool. But just make your voice heard or the green, you know, even if you spend the money, we sure you don't like spending the money. Make your voice heard. That's all we're trying to tell y'all, man. But anyway, check this out, man. And also check out the, the uh, B. John Robinson shirt that I made, the Atlanta shirt, man. I'm about to put this on the site. I got to put it for the Braves and all that. If you have your favorite team, let me know what your favorite team is down in the comment section, and I'll make you a shirt just like this, man, and put it on the site. But y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, man. I'm going to holler at y'all next time till next time. Hey, it's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK, the People's Champ. Guys, speak. Guys, speak.